Hi Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. And please do hit the notification bell so you will be notified when I upload. I upload every day. And for those of you who have already subscribed, thank you for your support. Good to see you all. Okay, Virgo, please remember this is a general love reading. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. Okay, and if you would like to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below. Okay, Virgo, let's see what the saga is for today. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Okay, well, we have the Knight of Cups, the Fool, Aquarius Energy. The Empress, Libra Taurus, the World, the Ace of Cups, in the center of the reading, next to the Ace of Swords. Wow. Four of Wands, Judgment. Oh my gosh. The Eight of Wands. And at the bottom of the deck, the Two of Swords in the reverse. Okay. Stalemate situation coming out of that. Decision finally being made. Um, no longer being stuck in any kind of an energy for some of you normal no more blocking or being unblocked <clears throat> excuse me from social media or someone no longer um keeping silent okay i'm not going to go any more deeper into that but what i'm going to tell you here let's see virgo Let's see what your messages are. So we have, so Virgo, you, okay. So there's Aquarius, Libra, Taurus, and Scorpio energy. Also Leo. All right. Let's see what your love messages are here, Virgo. Okay. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. You know, before I came to sit and do your reading, Virgo, I need to preface here. I felt a very strong reconciliation or um, love situation coming back around for you here, okay? Um, I just, it felt like an overwhelming sense of joy, of happiness. Okay, let's see. Release the X. The time has come to clear the energy. Okay. And very soon, decision being made. And that's what I said in the very beginning there with the two of swords in the reverse. Some decisions getting made. I feel like overall the energy, the message I'm getting here is whomever you were connecting with, your twin flame, soulmate, your love, um, if they were with somebody else or they had the energy of someone else in their periphery and like the energy surrounding them I feel like this person is finally releasing that energy releasing that person whether it's physically mentally um, emotionally spiritually uh, it's it's a cleansing it's a clearing out and to come and work on this relationship with you Virgo very beautiful very beautiful now let's take a look at the knight of cups obviously there's a love proposal or offer coming in from somebody here. Okay. Oh, okay. They gave me two cards. Oh, okay. It's a page of swords. This person is coming in with some truth, some communication, text message, phone call, something along those lines. The King of Cups is here again. So Cancer Scorpio Piscean energy. And for some reason, the magician is here in the reverse. So this kind of makes me feel like for some, for some of you, this is your magic man. <laughs> Those of you who are interested in men, this is your magic man. Absolutely. Um, this feels to me like this person is going to use every tactic in the book, whatever it takes. They've been watching you, spying on you. They've been curious about you. They're, I feel like this person really, Virgo, can't figure out. Okay, this is, they just said 
tell them magic man or magic woman. <laughs> this is the person that just... It feels like just gets you. They, they say one thing and your heart flutters. They communicate with you. They say one thing to you. It just feels like your heart flutters. You, you're stammering. You can't think. You can't talk. You don't. You just freeze up, okay? And this gives me a sense. Oh, what were they? Okay, come back. Come back around. Oh, uh, they just, they said, um, very curious. They can't figure you out. They're, they, they don't know how you're feeling. They, they're, they're not sure if you're still interested or if you are still, or if you've left the scene of the crime. Okay, Gemini energy for some of you. And I feel like this person is seeking you out. seeking you out to try to come towards you. Okay, the fool is here. So this person has definitely freed themselves from a situation. There could be travel involved here. And they're about to take a risk here with you, Virgo. This is a risk for them, but throwing their cares to the wind. I feel like in the past, um, there was a, a strong stalemate energy with this person, like undecided. Uh, it was taking too long. Somebody couldn't figure out what they wanted. Maybe it was you or this person just couldn't come to terms with what they needed to do. Overthinking, overanalyzing situations, trying to f just thinking too much and becoming extremely stressed by all this, all this thinking weighing all these options and then going down the rabbit hole you know over it's just an energy of over overthinking and not doing anything and i feel like this person here with the fool is just like you know what forget it forget it I'm throwing all my cares to the wind and just see what happens and see how it goes i'm going to say anything do anything whatever it will take to work on this with virgo with you all right show me the fool okay justice Okay, whatever it takes to make this thing right, to come out with the truth. They're coming with the truth here for, for you, Virgo. Now, what is this truth, okay? Oh, the sun, Leo, Libra energy. What is this truth here? Uh, coming out in the open, um, definitely coming out in the open. They want to be in harmony. Your energy is very positive and they, they want to bask in the warmth of your love, they just said. Okay. <laughs> oh, the three of swords here. Heartbroken. This person is missing you, Virgo, tremendously. They feel heartbroken without you. Maybe you guys had some kind of an argument or something where you guys broke up or they said something to you or you said something to them. There could have been for some a third party situation or they they it kind of feels to me like this person feels like maybe you've got somebody else in your life. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. The Empress represents new beginnings. So that's what I feel is happening here. A rebirthing of a relationship rebirthing this connection here in the month of October. Long-term security, not wanting to let go of you, Virgo. I just, what's that? Okay, they just gave me a song. Is it hold on to my baby? Hold my baby? Not letting my baby go? I'm not going to let my baby go. I don't know if that's a song. They just gave me these words. Not going to let my baby go. Never let you go. Uh, okay. They just said, um, tell Virgo this person has never let you go. Possessive, a bit possessive, holding tight. Um, this feels like a, this feels like a, Prince and vanity relationship. Romeo and Juliet kind of thing. You know, 
genderless type of situation, of course, for some. But it feels like a Romeo and a prince in vanity. You know, two people who have met at some time in the past, maybe a past life, but there was a recognition of souls when you and this person met. There was just something about the connection where it was like you just knew and they knew that you each were each other's forever person. And despite all the trials and tribulations and the separations and the ins and the outs and the backs and the forths and the on and the off, it was still forever. And it feels like whoever this person is, whoever your person is, they, it feels like this person just cannot be without you. They can't stop thinking about you. You're always, you are always on my mind. Everything reminds them of you. This person has even at times, they, they're just telling me here, has looked for you and everyone else. They may have even tried to, if they met somebody else, try to turn another person into you. Or they may have sought out relationships with other people who looked like you, was into the same things as you, acted like you, behaved those same behavioral patterns. If they couldn't have you or if there wasn't and a, a way for you guys to be together. I feel like during the off times, if they were with other people, but it was there was never any satisfaction with those because those people were never you, Virgo. You know, your your fingerprint made a mark on this person. So here they come, right? Trying to work on the partnership. They want to try to give this relationship a chance because they don't know what else to do. They don't know any other way to be. They, they know, this person knows that even if there's somebody else in their life or currently is right now, it's just a decoy. They're giving me like a decoy. It's just somebody else to fill the void who's close or in similarity to you but it's, it's still not you. Your uniqueness shines and you've made a huge impression on this person, which is why I feel with the magician in reverse that they're going to like pull out all the stops to come towards you. Even to the point where they will try to manipulate your connection to try to get back with you or to, to try to connect with you, okay? In strange ways, in weird ways, it, they're just telling me, like, expect the unexpected here, Virgo. <laughs> so let's move forward here. The Ace of Cups is in the center of the reading. So this is definitely... Spirit is trying to initiate something here between you two. This person is going to the Ace of Swords come forward. They tell you that they're that they've cleared everything out from their past. They've gotten rid of that ex or that person that they were with. No matter how long they were with that person, it could have just been that person may have passed away and that person may have still been on their mind. You know, um, they weren't ready to release. They weren't ready to let go. But they knew there was something with you. So there was conflict in their heart. There was, there was conflict with holding on to the past and letting you in fully. They knew they couldn't do both. You can't walk in and out of a door at the same time. So they were kind of just in the middle there, stalemate. One foot in the outdoor and one foot in on the indoor. So look at this here. Wow, they just gave me the tower. Scorpio energy on the world. Major shift here. A boom. <laughs> a boom connection. Like 
total breakdown and ready to start anew. This person has a very incredibly sexual attraction to you, even still after all this time. And they just told me, whomever they've had physical relations with, they imagine it's you. They still see your face. This is a total breakdown. This person, <clears throat> I mean, it feels like I have such a strong sense that this person, your person, is destroying everything that they've ever known in the past, everything that was there in the past to come towards you, to move towards you, okay? To start over with you, to write a new chapter in this book, to start a new cycle here. Like, but it feels like this is it. This is it. This is for good. This is final. They're closing the book. This is the final chapter and ready to open this new beginning here with you. Show me the Ace of Cups. Two of Cups. See, that's what I'm telling you. I just had, before I started the reading, an overwhelming sense of... How can I explain it? How can I articulate this into words? It's, it's like a draw, like coming back into union is how I feel. I just want to see the tower card here. Oh, yeah. Look, this person is, I feel like you are the love of their life. You, you, you may not have felt like you were. They may not have showed it, but it, it feels to me that this person keeps their their deepest emotions way deep inside that they don't really share them they don't really express them they'd rather watch and observe they've watched and observed more so than they've been overt with their expression of love and emotions towards you but th did they feel them deeply very very deeply still waters from deep and <clears throat> I feel like with this page of wands, they are super, super excited to come in and tell you that they've cleared everything out and they're ready now. They're ready for this. They're ready to come into union. You guys, unless a lover shows up here, which I get a sense it will, the Two of Cups is giving me this very strong soulmate being on the same page, seeing eye to eye mutual connection romance a new beginning here happening meeting one another coming together okay so there may be communication about meeting in october about connecting seeing one another having drinks exchanging um for some vows exchanging the love there's a proposal for sure they're coming in it could be a proposal for marriage for some but they're definitely coming in and offering their love to you their admiration this person has such a strong deep admiration for you it feels like a crush <laughs> you know crush once once there's once someone has a crush that that lasts forever it may dim down um, after time, but when you two see each other again, or when this person sees you again, it's like blown back up again. Like it get it gets caught on fire, like a love that's caught on fire. And definitely with this page of wands, communication, text messages, phone calls coming in. Let me see this Ace of Swords. Oh, okay. Queen of Cups just flipped out. All right, you guys, there's definitely water energy here. Maybe your person was connected to a water sign in the past. They've released that person, and they're going to tell you about that, okay? <clears throat> water energy, Pisces, uh, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, or for others... This is just a match, King of Cups and Queen of Cups. You both have very deep feelings for one another. They may ask you if you still love them or if, if you have feelings for them still or if there's a chance that you two could be together. Victory. This person wants to win your heart, Virgo. 
again it feels very strong like a reconciliation look four of wands is here coming home mama i'm coming home just heard that ozzy song let's see four of wands reunion definitely a reunion uh homecoming reunion somebody wants to come back um somebody misses being at home i just heard they miss being home you are home you are their home this person is very single there is nobody they have no one they're on their own this person is completely on their own. Look at this, the judgment card, reconciliation. This person's had a major, huge uh, life-changing decision, reconciling things in their heart, in their mind. They're coming on their own. And you're at home looking pretty, you're, uh, or looking handsome. Some of you are just sitting there all up in your, your money and your wealth, and you're doing well for yourself, and you're... Some of you are very single as well. They're hoping that you will be. They're hoping that when they come back to you, when they come home or have some type of communication or connection with you, um, that there will be a celebration. They want to celebrate you, Virgo. They just told me. The Nine of um, Pentacles is a Virgo card. This person wants to celebrate you. This is family marriage show me judgment yeah oh gosh the five of cups this person they have a um, a lot of remorse and grief about not being open with you before i feel like they feel or they f either they feel now or they felt at some point that they've lost you for good Eight of Wands, please. So travel, quick communication, news, Cupid's arrows. This person wants you, Virgo. And they're coming in to tell you they want to be with you. It, this is the 1111 energy here. Okay, the Three of Wands. They've been waiting. They're not going to wait anymore. They're not waiting. They're not going to put you on hold anymore. They're not waiting. Um to see how things go oh they're coming in very strong with action but with 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 small actions but a big heart opening up this heart chakra with this person and they know now they know in fact they've always known that you were the one for them that you were you and they were meant to be they've always known this but that x energy or someone from the past just kept them stuck kept them stuck something what made this person release the ex or the energy or the past what made this person release hmm. three of pentacles oh they came to ter so okay they're just saying this person came to terms with the fact that whomever they were still holding on to they could not build anything with this person you guys have or had some kind of connection between the two of you where um, there was you learned a lot from each other they could not have that with this person from their past either because a person passed away or because it just wasn't meant to be see I feel like all the, the, whomever they were ever with in their past, that is not, that was never their person. Never their person. But they didn't, they knew it, but they stayed with that past person because they thought, they thought that that was who they were meant to be with. Because they figured, well, we met, so we're supposed to be together. But until they met you, they were lost. When they met you, they knew, but they got confused. There's something about the connection. They released their past person because 
they felt you release them from their anxieties. The other person they were with might have been just strictly like, felt more like a business relationship. The passion, this person felt that extreme and they still feel that extreme passion for you, that physical passion, that sexual energy, that's that, oh, can't get enough of you. They just, this person has never been able to let you go, but they've kept you at bay. Because why? It was so overwhelming for them, what they felt with you. Yeah. So they stayed here in the stalemate, so to speak. Okay. Contemplating, overthinking, thinking, thinking, thinking. They really, I feel like whoever they are just truly didn't understand what they were in with you. And it feels like they kind of just wrote it off as like, oh, maybe it's just sex or maybe it's just, you know, there was, I feel like there was a soul tie created here between you and this person. And as soon as their deepest emotions would come up, there's, I feel like it's trembling. They, they would tremble around you or they would be awkward around you or they couldn't, they felt, they never felt like that with anybody else. Every, everyone and anyone else that they've ever connected with, they felt comfort, comfortable or just like nothing like with you. With you, very volcanic. Volcanic? Is that the word? Yeah. Very volcanic type of energy. This person felt like if they open up and give everything to you, Virgo could destroy me opening up and sharing everything with you, they felt they would be giving their power away for you to destroy them, which you wouldn't have, of course, but they're so overprotective. And that's that King of Cups energy. So overprotective of their emotions. They, they just bury them very, very deeply. Why do they want to give this relationship a chance? Give me, show me this why do they want to work on this partnership oh wow temperance they just know it's meant to be divine timing they just they understand they understand now so such terrian energy there's peace with you at least they feel that now because they feel like whomever they were involved with in the past or i feel like this person expects to be in relationships with people who are not good for them or they've chosen relationships in the past with people who are not good for them out of a fear of being alone but something something about your connection is ethereal it's up in outer space it's atmospheric it's nothing they've ever experienced before Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Ace of Swords, clarity, truth, overcoming obstacles, overcoming this X issue or these problems or whatever, um, th whatever we're in, obstacles or challenges were in the way. It's just a magnetic draw that they keep getting pulled back to you. They tried so hard to keep you, um, to keep their emotions and feelings and their, their, that pull. They tried to resist the pull. This must be a twin flame connection. I mean, it is, it's, it's like without, you know, when one twin loses, like real twins, when, when real twins are apart, they can still feel each other's energy. And when one is missing, the other feels the absence. Some of you have been in separation with this person. Some of you have just been very neutral, feeling emotionally stable. And then out of the blue, without any explanation or cause, 
you have extreme anxiety or panic just comes out of the blue and some of you are like what the heck is going on why am i fe- everything's fine it's quiet where i am it's i'm peaceful i'm at, i'm at, i'm at peace i'm joyful i'm happy and it's your other person going through extreme you know their stress and anxiety and you're feeling it you're picking up on it and they you but also you're picking up each other's energy in separation so when you are overly joyed and you don't know why are you just it's like a wave that comes over you it's a wave of emotion whatever that wave of emotion that comes over you is coming over them in separation and neither one of you can explain it and that is the picking up each other's energy is what i feel and right now i feel like a lot of you might be having a feeling of deep sadness and you're not sure why and I'm telling you here, it's because your person's in deep sadness and having um, maybe nightmares or bad dreams or things like that. Something with their in their past could not work. They had to let that go, and it was very difficult for them. All right, let's take a look and see what their emotions are here. So many things remind me of you, see? Wherever they go, where, whatever they do, they see one little thing, a certain plant. They see a certain plant and they're reminded of you. They see a, a particular car or car color. They're reminded of somebody. I just saw a motorcycle. Maybe you two rode on a motorcycle together or a lake. They see a particular lake and they're reminded of you or a building. There's like all these things. A color, the color green. They just gave me green. They see the color green and they're reminded of you. Like everything. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was your sign. I remember every detail of that day. See, uh, the last time you two were together. The last time you saw each other or the last phone call or conversation you had they replay it over and over in their head my life is not as together as it seems yeah see they're breaking down there's a lot of breakdown happening here with this person they lied to you what did they lie to you about they lied about how they felt about you or they weren't they didn't extrapolate on the truth the deepness they hid they hid their emotions and that caused them to lose you. Lack of expression, a lack of um, being there. But they're watching you, Virgo, right now, right this very minute, whatever you're doing. Somehow, some way, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Yep. I mean, you are always on this person's mind and they purposely will stay awake to think about you because they can manipulate their thoughts about you in a positive way. They have daydreams, daydreams about how things could be or the things that you experience together. They think about those things. They think about, I just heard, um, the things that they've said and then they, they run it back through their head and say to themselves, oh, I should have not said that, or I should have said that, should have said something, or not used those words, or I should have pressed on with a conversation, or I should have inquired more, I should have expressed how I feel, or how I felt. They replay. It's kind of like, you know, (laughs) 10 minutes later, you rethink a conversation or something, or experience together and it's like gosh i should have done that i should have said that i was you know hindsight (laughs) the timing just wasn't right for us that's how they feel and in a lot of ways for them it wasn't it wasn't time for you two to be together but the time seems to be that now is the time and a lot of you have waited 10 20 years 
And some of you are still waiting. In the sense where I don't feel like you are harping on it. I feel like you are enjoying your life. You, you, you know in the back of your mind that at some point you two will come into union. So you're not really pushing it. And I feel like this person had to go through the dark night of the soul. I bury myself in work to forget you. I wish I had treated you better. Yeah, I wish I had said the things. I couldn't let you get close to me, but I still want you. They haven't let you go, Virgo. Mm -hmm. Let me see what your messages are here. This person... This is your person, whatever sign they are. Like I said, it really, I mean, we have water energy here in the court cards, so you could be connecting with a water sign, but this feels more like whomever your person is, okay? Financial challenges are affecting this connection here, Virgo, for you in some way. It's influencing. Uh, money has a big influence on this connection for some of you. Oh, you're going to get an apology. Like I said here, they wish you treated you better. They wish they had said what they needed to say. And also an apology for causing you grief or to make you to be st stagnant, to be overthinking things. This person seems to have a very analytical mind, um, even when it comes to the heart. Um, they want to make sure, I feel like when it's someone they truly, truly have a deep connection with, not other people, but mostly you, it was a big risk for them. They felt to share how they truly felt like, I'm not talking about, Oh, I, Hey, I love you. I'm talking about, Oh, Hey, I can't live without you. Oh, Hey, you're all I think about. Oh, Hey, uh, I think about this all the time. I think about you. I think about us all the time. It, they didn't want to come off as being possessive or obsessed with you. They didn't want you to see them like that because they felt like you would find that creepy or weird. So they tried to play it cool and push you away it was a tactic fate this is a destined partnership see it's destiny addiction oh my gosh virgo <laughs> virgo you like a drug to this person they're addicted to you to your energy to everything about you and to open themselves up to you and give themselves to you, they felt, they felt would be giving their power away to you that you could make them do anything. And they, they, this person, like one word from you, as I said in the beginning, one word, one glance, one touch, one breath has them under a spell by you. You have this person under a spell and you're not, I don't, I hope you're not putting spells on people, but whatever, whatever you're doing, uh, you might, it just might be your magnetism or your charisma or something about you has this person. And you're, I feel like a lot of you are kind of like, <laughs> Oh, they don't love me. No, no, no. You have pa this person resists you because of your power and your charm that you have over them. They resisted it. They have to. They had. They had to be in control. This person just wants to lay at your feet and let you have your way with them now. <laughs> soulmate there you go your soulmate loves accepts and respects you unconditionally this so the lovers is not here so i i mean it might show up but i get a sense that i just i know it's going to sound strange but i get a sense that 
you're coming together now in equality. Like, it feels like your souls had met each other before. There's a recognition. There's something about the two of you where they're telling, okay, so they're telling me, I know this is going to sound strange, and it's not usually something that is said here in the tarot world, but it feels like what felt like a twin flame has now turned to a soulmate. I don't know how that, I've heard that very sparsely from people. Um, I've heard people say twin flames and soulmates are not the same thing. I've heard people say that twin flames and separation are meant, never meant to be together. I've heard twin flames rarely meet. I've heard we've had a million soulmates. But soulmate brings, that's comfort, love, ex unconditional love, accepting each other, compassion, understanding. And soulmates have a very repelling energy sometimes um, because they're trying to break away from each other, but they can't because they're so interconnected. Where soulmates aren't really interconnected, they're two separate beings. But I feel like you two, as twin flames, have managed somehow to break apart. You've managed to break apart and become your own souls and then are meeting one another as two individual entities who are not connected in that same way. There's like, it's like a finishing, almost like a soul contract was met and you both have now risen individually to come together to join together in harmony, not in need, even though that pull is still there. It's very bizarre. I'm going to have to look that up to see if that's something that's a thing or if that actually, it's almost like a graduation. <laughs> It feels almost like a graduation, like a victory, like victory award, like reaching these higher levels. It's bizarre. It's bizarre. I feel like maybe so much time apart for you has caused you to release so much from this person that you can be in their energy and not feel yanked from a million different directions. And this person... I feel like is catching up to you here. But it still feels very, it feels like it's their natural energy to be very obsessive and stuck on you. I don't feel like that's a twin thing for them. I feel like for them, it's just how they are, you know? There's Queen of Cups. I'm telling you, there's water all over here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Loving, compassionate, psychic, self-sacrificing, deep psychic insights. Caring for others but forgetting to take care of yourself. Trust your intuition. A deep love of family and friends and following the heart. It's crazy. Let's see. Oh, the Knight of Wands. See that? Deep passion, confidence, charismatic, restlessness, events requiring immediate action, trusting your instincts, staying focused in a deeply passionate relationship. I mean, there's, I don't know, there's elements here. There's some elements of twin and there's some elements of soulmate. I've, I've never had like a mix, like felt like a mix of that. I'm not really sure what's going on here and spirit can you please tell me what is this is this twin flame is this soulmate or is it both gosh 
I, they're, not, they're not giving me this clarity. Um, they want you to seek this clarity. It's what they're saying to figure this out. But I know that whatever obstacles there were in the past, these are gone. These are rem being removed. There's definitely an addiction aspect to this, though. I'm not going to lie about that. That that might be... I feel like that's coming from this person, as I said before. A very strong addiction to you. A very strong addiction. You know, they're not giving me twin flame here. The high priestess. No... Oh. There's some kind of pull. There's some kind of very strong pull. An inner knowing. A leap of faith being taken here by this person and you. It's okay, Virgo. You can go forward with this. With patience, divine timing. This whole thing has just been so difficult for you. You've learned the spiritual lesson here. Acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. Okay? This person definitely feels regret for how they treated you. And a second chance is coming around. A decision is being made here about this relationship, Virgo. Forgiveness as well. Is helping this connection move forward. Trust. And there you go. It is safe to trust in this situation. This is a twin flame. But you're coming together on the same level now. For some of you, there's an element of both where the soulmate energy is like you recognize each other's souls, but the twin flame energy is you, you can't stay away from each other. And this person even, and I feel like you both were like, again, I keep feeling that prince and vanity relationship. It's like you both were drawn to each other like magnets very strongly. But then when you turn those, both those magnets the opposite direction, you both repelled one another at the same time. Whew, this, this connection, I feel... Um, was not a kind of connection where you both had any say in this, where you both had any say in it. This connection is very much divinely guided. Meeting, coming apart, meeting, coming apart, on and off, was part of this process. Three steps forward, two steps back. Four steps forward, three steps back. Let's get your charms. You guys, really with this camera? Keeps coming up, this camera. <laughs> oh, I just heard from The Cure. They the, they said pictures of you. Pictures of you. I don't know if you know that song by The Cure. I can't remember. For some reason, my singing spirit, I feel like is, I don't know, out having coffee or something. Ooh, we have a lion. Okay, for some of you, this is Leo energy or this connection is the passion of a lion. Maybe some of you are on the cusp of Leo Virgo. You have Leo in your chart somewhere. Mm. Lion King, Leo King. There might be a message from Leo King <clears throat> for you that maybe confirms this or something that you hear brings confirmation. This camera, again... I keep hearing click, 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 click. This, your person, they keep clicking. I see them clicking the mouse or they keep clicking on photos. Or they're clicking on looking for you and trying to find you. Click, click, click. Or maybe that's my clock. <laughs> it's both. There's clicking, time is ticking. Clicking, time is ticking. Okay. 
Got a hammer here. A hammer. This person's coming in to put down the hammer. <laughs> it's hammer time, you guys. Um, they work with a the hammer. They're working with a hammer right now. Maybe you are. Okay, you're <clears throat> hanging some pictures on the wall. Some of you have been removing pictures off your wall of your person. And you're listening to this and you're like, uh-oh. If you want this person back, if you want to manifest this person in your life, Virgo, you got to put their picture up on the wall. And let spirit know they're still there. If not, take it down. So we have the balloons. Okay. Flying away. Oh, they just gave me um, manifestation. <clears throat> Excuse me. Manifestation balloons. Um, <clears throat> and so they're telling me this, and I feel like I want to tell spirit, no, we can't do that. We're not allowed to let b balloons loose in the sky um, because they are harmful to the environment because they just leave garbage. But somebody may have done that before. Um, wrote on a balloon their manifestations or intentions and then released it into the atmosphere. Some of you might have gone on a balloon ride with this person or you're on one or you're going, well, maybe you're not on one. Or maybe you're planning or you've been on one recently. Uh, or there's a child's party as well or you're blowing up balloons preparing for a child's party. Picking out the music. Here we have a music... Uh, Clef, I think it is, a music clef. Some type of song. There's a song. Oh. Okay, they just told me blue suede shoes. Pfft. Is that Elvis? Maybe somebody has blue shoes or suede shoes. Blue. Blue, blue without you, blue, something about blue. Yeah, you guys, I'm just feeling, you know, I know my readings can sometimes be very candid and bossed up and all, but I'm just feeling love here. I'm feeling like some serious, like strong magnetism. I was feeling that before I sat down, like there's this coming back around, there's this Your person might be near you. You're feeling them strongly. But I feel like there's a pull, a pull, a coming, like a, like a being drawn and being pulled to each other right now. Will it happen? I mean, I feel like the cards are saying there's going to be some kind of initiation of communication. But I don't, I'm not exactly sure what, I, okay, I can ask. I, they just said, when they just said ask when is this communication coming in i mean i this is for october but when is this going to kick off when is this season going to kick off again with this person for virgo when is this person coming in oh uh, they just told me october 12th november 12th Oh, I just heard somebody, somebody who's connected to a Sagittarius. Okay. They just, they just told me Sagittarius. Somebody who's connected to a, to a Sagittarius. December 12th birthday, they just told me. Um, oh, it's October 12th. I don't even know what today is. Today is today. What is today? The 10th, the 11th, 12th? Maybe it's it's coming soon. It's very soon. Or it's the week of some type of communication coming through. All right, Virgo. That was a powerful reading. That was that was a very strong soulmate kind of twin flamey magnetic draw pull type of a reading. So I'm just going to leave that there, you know. They, the, the messages come out the way they come out. 
and I get different guides and spirits coming in and talking to me. I feel like my singing guide is away somewhere, maybe a choir practice, but I feel like I've got this, I've got this very deep emotional guide who is trying to talk through me today to talk to you and tell you that your person, this person in you, like they have not forgotten about you, Virgo. They think of you every single day. You may not be talking to them or hear them or see them. They may not be hearing you or seeing you, but they're, you, your image and everything about you is like alive within them now. And there's room for that now because the energy of somebody else or whomever they were connecting with or whoever was still alive within them has left them. Either they and they've released them and let them go. All right, so I'm going to leave this here for you. I hope that was giving you a little bit of hope for those of you who are trying to have that connection again here. And um, I will see you guys next time. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe on the video if you uh, well like on the video if you enjoy it. Hit the notification bell. Do subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate that and stay tuned for my membership VIP package coming soon. Perhaps I think maybe next week and um, yeah, join in on the live streams every Friday evening, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, personal readings are in the link down below this video. All right, Virgo. See you later. Bye.